Welcome to the third, lecture, third video about um, basic architectural drawings. I'm going to show you how to draw uh, stairs and an elevator in plans. I already drew a section of two stairs uh, on top of each other. Um, so if I want to draw um, a plan of these stairs, perhaps I start with the uppermost plan here. And you remember a plan is a horizontal section, a meter above floor level, looking down. So if I look down, um, I see the landing of the stair. Let's assume it's like this and perhaps the exterior facade is like this. And I see all the steps of the stairs. Or actually the complete stair. So I see all these steps and I draw all these steps. And I also see the landing of the stair one level lower. To indicate in a plan in which direction the stair goes, you draw an arrow, which goes from the lower level to the higher level. The arrow is where the stair reaches the highest point and where the stair starts, you draw a little dot. So we have a stair uh, in plan. Next thing we're going to try, if we're on ground floor, the plan would be here more or less. Again, looking down, I'm going to draw this here a little bit lower. Same position in the building, the thickness of the facades, and the stair starts here. Let's see, the stair starts here, and it goes up. Um, but the section, you see that the section cuts the stair more or less here, more or less halfway. And again, the convention is to stop the stair with a diagonal dashed line. Uh, I draw the steps I see and again an arrow so you understand in which direction the stair goes. And you also remember from the second video everything above your head is a dashed line. Um, so the stair that continues is a dashed line and the landing is also a dashed line. Oh, like this. So now I have the, the plan of the stairs on ground floor level. And we have one left, um, the one in between, which would be here. Looking down again. And here I see it's going to be a combination of the other two, probably. Because if I look down from here, I see the beginning of the stairs here. It's cut here. And I look down here, so I see this part of the stair. Let's see how we draw this in plan. Again, the facades. The situation here is almost the same as here, except for that I can see this landing. So I have a landing, beginning of the stairs. What was the convention? A diagonal dash line. Draw the steps, an arrow until here, the dot. And then if I'm here, I'm looking down here, I also see this part of the stair which is underneath it and also the landing here. So again, um, I draw the landing and the stair that comes up. I draw a second dash line, steps and the arrow. So now I have the three situations of stairs on top of each other. These are the conventions of how to draw a stair. If you have a ramp, uh, uh, a part of the floor that goes up without steps, for example in an in a underground parking, um, you do it more or less the same, but of course you don't draw steps. Um, 
you can draw an arrow, just like in the, um, in the stairs. But you could also draw one big triangle, um, which indicates that this ramp slowly goes up. This is the lowest point, this is the highest point. So this is how you draw a ramp. And there's another means of, of switching from one floor to the next, which is an elevator. You know normally an elevator sits in an in a elevator shaft, um, which can take several forms. Let's assume the elevator shaft is somewhere in a corner of a building. Um, like this, so we have facades and this shaft. Now you remember a void in the floor, uh, which would be here, you indicate with a cross, so that's something which you could do. Um, but to make it more clear in a plan, actually, I always think it's a better idea to really show the cabin of the elevator. And you know, elevators have these uh, sliding doors on the cabin side and on the building side which you can draw like this, and elevators also have this counterweight. Um, so to me, if you want to draw an elevator, um, to understand for people what it is, actually make a quite precise drawing of what it is. So I have the elevator shaft, for example, solid wall, concrete, so I have to hatch the wall, um, the elevator cabin, doors, and counterweight. So now you know how to draw stairs, a ramp, and an elevator in architectural drawings. Thanks for watching.